Here we are standing outside the beautiful Esprit Hotel in downtown Helsinki, again with uh, two elite Finnish ambassadors, Teppo Newman and Tino Solani. Ever, ever since we got here, it's been Teemo, Teppo, signs, jerseys, everything, everywhere. Oh, yes. Like I said, it's, you know, Timo is so popular here. Teppo's from just a little bit north of here, and, and everybody wants a piece, and they want pictures, they want hot. Oh. oh, oh. Again, like I said, you have it there. Timo and Teppo, they are Finland. Molson Special Dry presents the Jets This Week. Coming up, the Jets take Finland by storm. Kimmel and Keith were and Alex, they really seemed, seemed like they scored at will. They didn't, but it would seem that way from watching it. And uh, they're going to do that at times to opposition quite a bit better this year. They're certainly capable of doing it. Tamu is ready for the new season. Of course, I'm very hungry and... Uh, I want to play just high level again, and uh, we, we have a good team now, so I really look forward to start the season, and uh, hopefully at time to... Russ Romanek's Helsinki highlights. I like you so much. Good. Now, a token of your affection, maybe, no, give it, I'm especially a little kid. And a look back to the 1990 playoffs. The Jets This Week, brought to you by Chrysler Canada and your local Chrysler dealers. The Winnipeg Free Press, ahead of the game. KFC, for a complete meal, we go the distance. MTS Yellow Pages, when you need us, we'll always be there. And Molson Special Drive, the evolution of beer. The Week in Review, brought to you by KFC. For a complete meal, we go the distance. Edmonton in town last night to take on the Jets, and as usual, Billy Ranford, the star for the Oilers. With Edmonton up 1-0, Jets on the power play. Teppo Newman and shot. Tipped by Keith Kachuk. The captain's goal ties it at 1. Another man advantage for Winnipeg. Kachuk, the original chance, slides it over to Alexei Zhamnov. He's on the doorstep. Jets lead 2-1. Then a bad break, awful bounce for Stefan Beauregard, and David Oliver cashes in. We are not at add two. Brian Marchman gets involved with Nelson Emerson. Keith Kachuk comes to his teammate's aid. The captain showing the team comes first. Unfortunately for Kachuk, he was the third man in, and he got tossed. And Chris King, the old World Wrestling Federation move on Ian Herbers. But the Jets weren't able to put the Oilers on ice or cement. Game finish tied at two. The Sports Page, brought to you by the Winnipeg Free Press, ahead of the game. The Winnipeg Jets arrived in Helsinki early Monday morning and wasted no time getting right down to business. How you doing? Head coach John Paddock and assistant coach Andy Murray put the 28 players through an hour and a half workout at the Yahali Ice Arena under the watchful and curious eye of the Finnish media. After the on-ice session, a press conference was held with Paddock, Captain Keith Kachuk, Kerry Wilson, and native countryman Teppo Numanen and Tamu Solani. Part of, uh, part of our nucleus of key players that uh, we expect to take us to... Uh... After practice on day two, the players paid a visit to the Children's Hospital of Helsinki and brought plenty of smiles to the faces of the children, both big and small. Wednesday afternoon, some of the players took time out for more autographs at Stockman's, Finland's largest department store. 
tammantajan 10. syyskuuta, kello 10. ja kello 21. ja 30. ja sunnuntai. Later that afternoon, the entire Winnipeg Jet entourage was invited to a reception at City Hall with the mayor of Helsinki. Temu Salani thanked Mayor Kerry Rakamo for the city's hospitality and presented him with an autographed Winnipeg Jet jersey on behalf of the entire group. <laughs> On Thursday, the hockey fans of Helsinki got their first opportunity to see the Jets in action at an open practice. Over 5,000 watched the team's two-hour on-ice session, and after practice, Ty Domi and Temu Solani put on their own little show. Thursday was also the grand opening for the NHL's Hockey Fest. The four-day event included a chance to test your hockey skill, hockey video games, displays from the NHL's Hall of Fame, and the NHL's Holy Grail, the Stanley Cup. On Friday, it was finally time to play hockey. But before the puck was dropped for the first game, NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman and NHLPA Director Bob Goodnow, along with the Finnish Ice Hockey Federation, officially opened the Nike NHL International Challenge. John Panic looks beautiful in black as his team prepares to face Tampera. And Randy Carlisle sure is faster in Finland. Oh, that's Salani, the new number eight, but it's number 10. Alexei Zhamnov that picks up the rebound. It's a power play goal for the Jets, and they take the lead 1-0. Tampera tied it up at one before the Finnish flash scores his first goal since last year's Achilles injury. Rings it in off the iron, and the Jets lead this one. 2-1, and the fans enjoying the newcomers to Finland. Keith Kachuk then feeds Dallas Drake. All alone beats Holmy, the Finnish keeper, early in the second period, and Winnipeg jumps out to a 3-1 lead. Jets then four-checking Thomas Steen. Sweet pass over to Sheldon Kennedy. It's a one-timer for Kennedy, and the Jets lead this one 4-1. Baseball season is well over, but the knuckleball fools Chevalde. Olila with the long distance goal, making the count four to two. From there, Keith Kachuk forces the turnover. Solani throws it home, second of the game, 10 seconds into the third period, and the Jets lead this one five to two. Kachuk gets it going again, streaks to the net, the hometown boy with the hometown break for Solani. It's a hat trick, and Winnipeg leads this one six two. Then Dallas Drake with the poke check at his own blue line. Nelson Emerson breakaway backhand top shelf. It's a beauty. And the Jets lead this one 7-2. And the finish flash isn't finished yet. Get it? Not finished yet. Goal number four for Solani goes to the five hole. He also added one assist. Keith Kachuk had five helpers in the Jets. Easy 8-2 win over Tampera. Uh, we were pleasantly uh, surprised and happy, I think, with our team play, considering the circumstances that we've started under and, and uh, for the circumstances that these other hockey teams have been together for five or six weeks practicing and playing. And uh, so we're happy with that. Um, and, of course, we're happy with our best players uh, <coughs> rising to the occasion. They're really the ones that turn the game into a route. <laughs> 